Thanks for joining us on another episode of The Grind. Here's your host, JB. Hey, welcome to our first App State Grind live episode. Uh, it's a great honor for one to be here in the uh, facilities of the wrestling team. Uh, we definitely appreciate coaches' uh, invite and access to the facilities. So we wanted to come to you with a little bit of update. Obviously, things have been uh, nothing short of extraordinary uh, for the team and the staff of Appalachian State Wrestling as recently. Uh, started out with NCAA qualifiers um, not being able to participate in the uh, nationals, obviously. And it's kind of led and, and snowballed really for the team into um, everything that was on the schedule for this summer kind of being canceled. Um, I stay in contact with, with both the coaches now currently pretty regularly and uh, obviously some big, big challenges facing the team. And we just wanted to come on for a brief minute uh, this morning to kind of talk about some challenges that they're going through, but some opportunities that exist in those challenges. Um, and Coach will update us here in a minute uh, of, those, of the current status of those situations. Um, if you can, follow us, like us, share this stream, uh, however you're watching. It's on our Facebook, our YouTube, and the Twitter account. Um, you can find all of those just by searching App State Grind. And uh, the setup is a little bit unusual from what I'm used to doing with live. Usually it's, you know, people sitting next to each other and having a good conversation. Uh, we are in the team facilities, so we're practicing all the social distancing uh, protocol that's in place. Um, so Coach is on the other end of the locker room, and we'll go to him in just a minute. Um, but I'm here, so things will be a little bit different. There'll be some transitions, but we definitely appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, without further ado, Coach, appreciate you joining us uh, this, this, this early morning on a Saturday. Yeah, yeah thanks, JB. I appreciate you having me here. And uh, you know, it's been, a, uh, it's been a different time, you know, just kind of adjusting to all the, you know, the changes that have taken place with, with COVID. And obviously this summer has been just different than any summer I've ever had as, as a coach here at Appalachian. I mean, typically, you know, today, uh, July 10th, we'd be starting our, our uh, third team camp. And so it's obviously uh, affected us uh, tremendously uh, just with the cancellation of all our at the end of our season and the cancellation of camps and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, our staff's trying to manage through it as, as best we can. And, uh, you know, also looking, uh, you know, trying to figure out ways that we can improve where the opportunities lie, uh, you know, doing a good job recruiting and, and uh, you know, making sure our, our, our current wrestlers are continuing to develop. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's a challenging time, but I think there's opportunities for, you know, uh, for us to grow and, and get better as well. So. Awesome, Coach. So about this time, as you said, we'd be going into the wrestling camps for your summer, which is obviously big events here. But before we get into that, how is the team, Appalachian State wrestling team and staff, managing the current situation? Are you guys able to contact the student athletes? Is there, are they training? Are they using facilities? What is it that what is it that you can do and what is, what is happening? Well, uh, currently, uh, you know, we obviously can contact our student athletes. Um, we, uh, we have a weekly uh, Zoom call on Tuesday nights where we kind of get the team together, uh, you know, share any kind of uh, updates, uh, news, anything like that as regard to return to campus or our sport uh, or anything like that. Uh, but most of our guys, or a lot of our guys, are, are back in, in their hometowns. Uh, but we actually have about 14, 15 guys that actually live here in Boone. So those guys are here. Uh, I see them uh, quite frequently. Uh, the NCAA has allowed voluntary uh, workouts uh, that, that we're able to start in June. Uh, but unfortunately, here at Appalachian State, all of our facilities are still closed down. So our guys that are here in town, uh, you know, they're having to kind of find uh, different places and things like that where they can lift and where they can work out and, and that kind of thing. So, uh, you know, still a little bit of a challenge and, uh, you know, campus is slowly opening up. I know the football team and the, and the basketball teams are back uh, training on campus uh, and we're hopeful that uh, by the time August rolls around, we'll have our guys back in the facilities. So. 
So August is the current date then of when we expect to be able to have team activities, team training, those sort of uh, things going on again? Yeah, I don't foresee us being uh, in the facilities training as a team before uh, the students return to campus, and I think that's slated for August 17th as the start of the fall semester, and I think that's probably um, as soon as you, as you would see an opportunity for our guys to be back in the facilities and, you know, maybe starting to do some, tr some uh, team training activities and things like that. Yeah, and uh, being in the locker room, I'm, I'm sure they're all eager to get back to the facilities because you guys have some amazing facilities here for the student-athletes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, our facilities are, are second to none, and, and, and it's something that, that we've taken a, you know, a great pride in, and you know, it's just unfortunate during this time. We've got 14 guys or 15 guys that are here in Boone, but you know, can't have access to these facilities because of our current state. So it's a, it's a challenge, um, you know, but we got to, you know, like we tell our guys every day, we got to control the controllables uh, and, and, you know, look for opportunities and ways that we can t continue to grow and get better during this time. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about what they, is there, as coaching staffs, do you kind of feed them training programs or are they kind of off on their own? I, I, I use this to say that, this what we're going through as a nation is going to be you're going to separate those that have true culture and those that just use culture like everybody's using it right we're going to i think we're going to come off of this issue that's going on with college athletics today uh, that we're going to see some programs that said they had culture that really didn't have culture um, mm -hmm. that were obviously very still ran by the coaching staff instead of being the student athlete ran type of program that they like to talk about. So kind of what is that uh, balance for you guys right now as a staff and as, as, a, as a team? Well, I mean, right now, obviously, uh, you know, our guys, if we're going to grow and get better during this time, and I kind of stress this to our guys each and every week, uh, there has, more than any other time in their career, there has to be, an unbelievable amount of self-motivation, you know, because we can't be right over top of them, controlling all their workouts, controlling what they're doing. Uh, so it's going to take a lot of self-motivation. But, but like I said, I'm, I'm extremely uh, proud of our, our guys. I mean, we've got 14 returners that are here living in Boone and, you know, working and finding ways to train and, and uh, you know, being resourceful and that kind of thing. Uh, we do have our strength coach, uh, Coach Stork, is, you know, laying out the, the workout plans for our guys uh, from a strength and conditioning standpoint this summer. So they are following those um, workouts like they would be any other time. Uh, you know, but, but other than that, a lot of their, their working out and conditioning is, even though he's providing the workouts, it's you know, kind of on them to, to, to make sure they're getting them done and you know, staying motivated and kind of holding each other accountable. So. Yeah, this is definitely one of those times, if you're not doing it, your opponent is. So you, if you don't take advantage of these times like this, uh, somebody is going to. So let's talk about, uh, obviously moving on to it, camps uh, for Appalachian State Wrestling. I don't think some, some people realize how big they are, for one, and how important they are for the program, too. Uh, talk a little bit about why, why, that, why our camp is so big, how it's grown to kind of become a premier camp not just on the East Coast, but really nationwide, that you attract a lot of up-and-coming talent to come to Boone, North Carolina to train with Appalachian State Wrestling. Yeah, our camps are, you know, are something that, that have been in place for, for many, many years, and it's something that's it's grown into something that can really help support our program. I mean, uh, you know, we've when we found out that likely all of our camps this summer were going to be canceled, it was a very devastating uh, piece of news for me, uh, just because we rely so much on our camp for funding and uh, that kind of thing. And so, uh, you know, it was extremely devastating. I mean, typically each and every year, uh, you know, about 35% of our operating budgets raised through our, our camps. Uh, a lot of the different things that we're able to do uh, from a uh, extra, you know, equipment standpoint, uh, our volunteer assist and all that kind of stuff is paid through our camps. So obviously, uh, losing those this summer is something that we've had to, you know, really figure out a way to kind of manage and, and get through the best we can. And I would say just to, you know, our camps have grown just to kind of take a step back, kind of just to give you a little background information. So 
Uh, we have a, a tremendous amount of, of educators and coaches uh, that wrestled here at Appalachian all across the country, but especially across the southeast. And so, you know, our team camps have grown really, really uh, to the level they have because uh, we have a lot of alumni who are coaches that are bringing their teams back in the summertime. And then it's just kind of grown. And I think we put together a, an outstanding camp with a great balance of, of uh, technique and competition. And it's really, it's grown into something that's like a team building, um, you know, environment for the teams that come to it. So if you have a team and, you know, you're trying to establish your leaders and your team captains and, and your culture for the next year, you know, our camps have become a great way for teams, high school teams to kind of get away for four or five days, uh, you know, and allow their teams to grow and mature and, and kind of get ready to make that push for their team goals for the next year. And so that's kind of how it's grown. I mean, you know, typically we've had, uh, you know, last year I think we had around 1,400 campers uh, on campus here at Appalachia State in June and July. Uh, which is obviously uh, big for our program, but also big for the university. I mean, the university, our camps bring in a ton of revenue for the university, uh, a ton of revenue for the town. And so, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that have been affected uh, by our summer having to, to cancel our camps. Yeah, at 30, roughly 30% 30 of your operating budget and 1,400 campers that won't be coming to town, that is, that, that continues to be another devastating hit for not just the program, but the university and the community uh, that's gonna be tough to recover from. So coach, that's kind, of, uh, that's kind of led to the opportunity, right? Is, you know, we can't do a physical camp on location in Boone, North Carolina this season, um, but it's kind of led to an opportunity for, for several different organizations, um, especially in town and, and being able to still do and, and provide content and get their message out. Um, it appears that we have a virtual camp that starts on Monday, correct? That's right. Yeah, we're going to do our first uh, in our virtual camp series on Monday, uh, July, I think it's the 13th at 1 p.m. It'll be starting. Registration for that's still open. Uh, you can go to our, all of our social media accounts, Twitter and, and Instagram, and get a link to register for that. And, and basically, it's going to be about a two-hour technique session, and it will have uh, some question and answer uh, interaction involved with that. Uh, but Coach uh, LeBlanc and myself will be spending about an hour each uh, working on, you know, the finer points of a couple of different uh, uh, setups and leg attack series finishes. Uh, but we'll be just focusing on the feet and uh, you know, good ways to get to our leg attacks and finishing them once we get there. So we'll both go through kind of a series. There'll be an opportunity for about 10 minutes of questions after each one of us kind of present uh, the technique and, and instruction and that kind of thing to, to answer the questions of all our, our virtual campers that, that might have a question about a certain position or kind of how, you know, how do you react in this situation. And so we're, we're excited about that. You know, it's obviously the first time we've ever done it. Uh, you know, until this summer, I, I would have never even fathomed doing something like this, but I think it could be a huge success. And, you know, I think a lot of wrestlers out there, you know, that, you know, we're in the same uh, situation that our current wrestlers are that can't get on uh, their, in their current wrestling room or they can't get with their team and, and can't improve, uh, you know, maybe each and every day, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat. But, but this virtual camp will provide you an opportunity to be strengthening your mind and working on your technique and, and learning and growing. And that's the one thing I've emphasized to our guys is during this time, you know, you might not be able to do what you usually do, but there's something you can do to get better. So find out what that is and really focus on that and try to harness and, and, you know, find ways to grow that maybe you haven't grown in the past. And so we're hoping that virtual camp is going to be an opportunity for uh, not only the campers to grow and, and get better at wrestling, but also for us to kind of uh, generate uh, a little bit of revenue. So Yeah, and obviously both aspects of that is very important. Speaking of revenue, Coach, how – if somebody's watching today or somebody watches this uh, episode here shortly, they're not a person that goes to camp, they don't have a student in camp, they don't do any of that. How can they still support the program uh, through maybe a donation to help you guys through these tough times? Is there a way or a person that they can contact uh, to be able to do that? Because there's probably, as we know, there are a lot of alumni out there and there are a lot of fanatics that fill that varsity gym on match days, how can those people that may not be a part of that camp um, market 
be a part of helping you guys through these times? Well, uh, first and foremost, uh, we have a uh, wrestling gear website, and uh, it's on our social media accounts, the, the address that you can go on and look at the, at the uh, gear website, and so you can purchase some, some nice Appalachian State wrestling gear. Uh, that money will go directly to support the program. Uh, also, I would, uh, we do a fall golf benefit, so if you're a golfer and in the high country or in the southeast, you can participate in our golf benefit. We offer uh, the ability to, sponsor, to be a whole sponsor, to play in it as a, as a participant. A lot of different options there. Uh, we also right now are obviously trying to grow our scholarship endowments. We have, you know, one of the, um, we have a lot of scholarship endowments that we're trying to grow to the level to where they can you know, support the big part of our scholarship fund. So, you know, any donors, alumni that see that, they might want to donate to that. And you can find all this information if you get, uh, you know, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, you can send us a message directly. Uh, my email is on the website. Uh, Coach LeBlanc's email is on the website. If, you, if you're interested in supporting our program and you just don't know how, uh, feel free to reach out to us by, by email. Uh, and we'll be happy to, to give you uh, some different avenues that you could support the program. And, and again, all your support's appreciated. Uh, you know, this has obviously altered our normal course of how our summer goes and our fundraising efforts and all the things that we do to make Appalachian State Wrestling what it is. And so, uh, you know, right now we're grinding and finding opportunities to try to, you know, to keep things moving forward. You know, we don't want to take st a step backward during this time. Yeah, and, and this is, and, and just so the, the viewers and everybody that may listen and watch later, this is a, uh, this is a time where no donation is too small. Um, and, and we fight this, I think we kind of fight this battle in the Yosef Club sometimes. People think that people that are a part of booster clubs or athletic associations or anything like that, it's all about high dollars. But it's really not. Um, no matter the, the amount that, that you have available, I will, I will tell you, Appalachian State Wrestling could use it, especially during times like this, because it is, uh, right now there's still a lot of unknowns, as, as we heard from Coach. You know, August, they hope to be able to be back in session and, and training again, but uh, competition is still up in the air. We, we've got a lot of conferences uh, this past week that have announced that they're only conference only. Some of these conferences are very small for wrestling. Uh, won't lead to a lot of uh, revenue coming in from ticket sales if, it, if any of them do uh, sell tickets. So every little bit will help. Uh, there are, I'm sure, season tickets available still for the wrestling team. And I will tell you, there is no greater value in a sporting event season ticket than Appalachian State Wrestling season tickets. The atmosphere in Varsity Gym on dual nights is phenomenal. Um, and at it, the last I checked was $30 for season tickets. Uh, obviously, the, the match number may be down a little bit this season, but I will tell you, if there's two matches that are hosted here at the Varsity Gym and you're able to make it, the $30 is well worth it. Coach, so the, the, the student athletes, the students that are out there, the wrestlers that typically attend your virtual camp, they're not only going to get a great opportunity to learn and to be able to, to, to hone up their skills, it may not be so much hand-to-hand, uh, -hand, like we, we spoke about in a, in a physical camp, but they're going to have the attention of two college wrestling coaches at that virtual camp to, to basically, I would dare say at certain points, ask questions and kind of get some feedback on maybe some situations that they're dealing with that may not be something that you teach directly at the first virtual camp. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're going to have, uh, you know, I think it's going to be built in for the two-hour clinic. We're probably going to have 20 minutes of just question and answer where uh, participants will be able to ask questions, and our uh, Coach LeBlanc and myself will address those questions. Uh, maybe it's about a technique or a situation or, you know, certain things that, that you might struggle with. Uh, you'll have the opportunity to ask those questions, and hopefully we can, can point you in the right direction and help you know, maybe help you grow technically and mentally uh, during this time when maybe the physical uh, aspect of camp's not available. So we're excited. I mean, I think that we're going to do a, you know, we're going to do a series where both of us are going to kind of show some things that we both do a lot in our wrestling, uh, you know, which, you know, some of you that have been to our camps in the past, I know you've gotten a chance to see Coach LeBlanc 
uh, teach some uh, possibly, but typically as the camp director, I'm doing more of a management role and managing the entire camp. Um, you know, but this will give you an opportunity to actually have, have uh, myself instruct you as well. So I think it's a great opportunity for young wrestlers that want to get better. Um, you know, and it's, uh, like I said, it's, it's just for two hours. Uh, it's a $30 uh, cost for the clinic, and, and I think you'll get a lot out of it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be your first one. There is also another virtual camp on the, on the uh, schedule, Coach. If I'm not mistaken, it's going to be directed towards coaches, correct? Yeah, we're going to do a coaches clinic uh, on Thursday night. So we're going to do our our uh, takedown clinic for the wrestlers, and coaches can can participate in that as well. But we're going to do that on Monday, and then Thursday evening we schedule it in the evening, since some coaches may still be working or have families, things like that. Uh, but we're going to spend about um, an hour and a half, two hours with coaches, uh, and help them, you know, kind of get some things. And we'll have obviously question and answer things like that. But we're going to outline in the coaches clinic. It's not really going to be a whole lot of technique. It's it's going to be more just building a program. How do you establish your team culture? What are some different workouts, training methods we use? Uh, what are the different periodizations that we use as far as training our athletes through this, the course of the year? Uh, and things like that, that that I think will help high school coaches or youth coaches build their wrestlers, build their programs. And so that second uh, virtual camp opportunity will be next Thursday night. Uh, and the registration link for that is also on our, our, uh, our social media pages and all that kind of stuff as well. Yeah, that's great that you guys are able to still put out content. Coach, uh, before we let you go here, is there any last minute things you would like to say or let the fans know about before we, uh, before we throw it back and get on with our Saturdays? Yeah, I think that, you know, just during this time, it's, it's uh, really a difficult time for people to stay motivated, to stay positive, things like that. I just encourage you, you know, if you're a, if you're a wrestling fan, if you're an, an App State uh, wrestling fan, that, that I assure you that our coaching staff is working uh, tirelessly during this time. We're not just sitting around waiting for the quarantine to, to finish, and then we're going to try to get out and figure out a way to get better. We're you know, every single day right now, we're finding ways to grow and, and increase uh, the visibility of our program, uh, find better recruits, higher level recruits, uh, help our current wrestlers grow in, in this time. And so, uh, you know, you're going to see, you know, once all this, this is done, you get a chance to see our program again and get back in varsity gym. You know, I can promise you we're working hard to make sure that we have a great product to put on the mat for you. And so, uh, like I said, you know, there's a lot of, of our traditional ways that you can support our program might not be available uh, during this time, but our program does need your support uh, with, you know, budget cuts and just financial, uh, you know, st the stress of this time. Uh, if you want to support our program, I encourage you, please reach out to me. Please reach out to our coaching staff, and we can point you in the direction, uh, you know, in any gift amount that you want to give you know, big or small, we can find a place for that. And it can go directly to help supporting Appalachia State Wrestling. And so we're going to wrestle again. We're excited and, uh, you know, looking forward to, to that day when we get to compete again. Coach, we definitely appreciate your time this morning. And uh, thank you for joining us on, a, on an early Saturday morning. Um, we look forward to being back in varsity gym with you because we know that's going to be a, a phenomenal atmosphere when those student athletes can hit that mat again. Absolutely. Thanks again, JB. All right, thank you uh, for joining us, and it was, it's great to be a part of the program, to be down here to check out their facilities. We appreciate Coach's time. Uh, we appreciate Ryan's time, uh, Josh, when he was still a part of the program and, and providing content for the grind. Uh, we hope this is kind of a first step for us as well. Um, there's some things that are going on right now that we hope to be able to provide you some more content, especially through the season. Uh, so follow us, like us, uh, share us, tell your friends about us. Um, help us create and spread the word for Appalachian State Wrestling because if you're a fanatic of it, you know how big Appalachian State Wrestling is and what that atmosphere in Varsity Gym is like. If you're not a part of it, season tickets I'm sure are on sale and available. Get on that because, like I said, it will be the best $30 that you can spend in Boone. Um, without a doubt, the atmosphere is second to none, um, and when they're able to compete again, it, it will be that way again, I'm sure. Appreciate you joining us. Um, got a word by our sponsor coming up here soon. 
but we'll be in touch and, and provide more live episodes here shortly. This episode of The Grind is proudly sponsored by Mountaineer Works. Mountaineer Works, owned and operated by Appalachian State alum and athletics photographer Chad W. Mitchell. Chad designs and builds officially licensed, unique cornhole board sets, and today I give my all plaques that will surely rock your tailgate, party, backyard barbecue, office, or creative space. They're sculptured smooth in the wood lab, Fire coated at over 3,000 degrees and paint dyed in the Cornhole Conservatory to complement their one-of-a-kind grain, then App State branded. The best part is you choose from a set of pre-approved color layouts and App State logos to personally design your cornhole boards and today I give my all plaque. Mix it up or match it up, you can't go wrong. Show your Mountaineer pride as these make solid gifts for deserving folks. Find Mountaineer Works on Facebook and Instagram to place your order or ask a question.